Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to solve some quadratic equations using the square root method. So let's get started. I, and I'll go a couple of different types that you may encounter. Okay, this first one, uh, I know 25 is a perfect square, so um, let's work through this. Uh, first, what we need to do is get rid of the square. And so in order to do that, we're going to find the square root of both sides, okay? And the square root of 25. So whenever we go with this, uh, the square root will be, the, this cancels, this will be x minus 2 equals, and I know the square root of 25 is 5, but it is plus or negative 5. So now what we will do is we will solve it for both a positive 5 and a negative 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 2. And so let's work the first one over here. We have x minus 2 equals 5. So we're going to add 2 uh, to both sides. Okay. And so these cancel. So it becomes x equals 7, and then we have x minus 2 equals a negative 5, and so we add 2, and so we bring down the x equals, we add 2 here, that is a negative 3. So there are your two solutions. Let's work another example. Now, in this example, 18 is not a perfect square, so uh, we'll have to add a couple steps. So we first need to get rid of the square. And so we're going to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so we have x minus 2 squared. Okay, the square root of this will be x minus 2 equals. Now let's see what we can do with this square root. We can take some numbers out. 9 times 2 equals 18. The 9 is a perfect square, so I can take a 3 out. Okay. So now we have x minus 2, okay, equals 3 square root 2. So now what I need to do is get x by itself. So I'm going to add 2. And once again, this is a plus or minus. So it will become x equals 2 plus or minus 3 square root 2. Okay, so there's your solution. Let's work two more examples you may encounter. Okay, with this example, remember the square the, the is attached to the x, not the 3. So we need to get x squared by itself. So we're going to divide both sides first by 3. These cancel, so we have x squared equals uh, 432 divided by 3 is 144, okay? Now what we do is we need to get rid of the square by taking the square root, okay? And, excuse me, that square root of x squared, and that becomes x equals, and the square root of 144 is 12, and remember, it's plus or minus, okay? I thought that one, that one was pretty straightforward. Okay, one final example. Okay, this example has, okay, this one has a little bit of everything in it. So, let's get started. First, we want to get x by itself. The square root is attached to x plus 1, so we need to get rid of the 5. So, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. These cancel, okay? So we have x plus 1 squared equals 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay, now what do we do next? Let's get rid of this square by taking the square root. So we have x plus 1 squared equals the square root of 12. Okay, now this now becomes we take the square root of this is x plus 1 equals, and the square root of 12, it's not a perfect square, but we can go 4 times 3. So 4 is a perfect square, so we can 
take that out. So we have x plus 1 equals square root of 4 is 2 square root 3. Now, what do we do here? But remember, it's plus or minus. Well, we need to get rid of the 1, so we'll go x plus 1 minus 1 equals negative 1 plus or minus 2 square root 3. Now, you may be tempted to just add it to this 2, but do not. It is negative 1 plus or minus 2 square root 3 because this is a square root. It's part of this square root section. Okay, so let me rewrite it because I, I didn't cancel that out. x equals negative 1 plus or minus 2 square root 3. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.